Hey all you viewers to be named later, how are we doing today? I know, we're going to take a look at something by Condor Tool and Knife. We really haven't taken an awful lot of look about their items here on my channel, and I thought it was about time. Today we're going to take a look at, as, as you can see there, the Otzi. I hope I'm saying that right. But still, so before we get too far into it and the blade and everything, inside the box you got like a little Condor sticker, little information about carbon steel. We all know if you don't take care of high carbon steel, it's going to rust. And they send their current catalog, I believe. Nope, this is 2020. But still, it's somewhat current. Now, I did modify this thing just a little bit. Um, it had that leather-wrapped cord that it was, you know, to hang around your neck. But honestly, it, it's like my neck's right here. The blade was sitting right there because I have a big head. So I had to modify it, and I just basically put paracord on there. Now, this knife, when I saw it, I went, oh my god, that looks really freaking interesting. It looks seriously primitive. And my first thought was, have you ever seen those guys who nape um, stones? Where they'll like take a stone, tap, 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 you know, get a little bit of an edge, start working around, and make a blade from a stone. That's what that really reminded me of. But, when I got into it and started doing the background work and all the fun stuff on this... Basically, this thing got its name and its look and shape and everything else from the oldest mummy found in Europe. This blade was based on the one that Otzi had on him. So I can kind of see like a little stone blade with a little wood handle and some cordage wrapping. I can see that. But, you know, Condor, and I love how they burn it in there, they did the wire wrapping with everything. and It, it feels really good in the hand. I mean, with typical with a neck knife... You've got that three-finger purchase, but it doesn't feel small in your hand, which I thought was really freaking cool. So, like I said, after a little bit of modifications, I had to bring this thing to the channel and go, I have really like carrying it, and I want to talk about it. So here we go with the stats and all the other fun stuff like we usually do. It's got an overall length of about 5.675. The blade is 2375 with a cutting edge of 2.375, which is really weird because the cutting edge is basically right there and it goes all the way around. And the handle is about 3.25. It comes in with a very, very minor weight of 1.97 ounces. And yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, this is a Joe Flowers design. Now it's done in the drop point style with a Scandi grind. It's got a plain edge with a weird black finish going in there. It's not really stone wash, but it gives that kind of appearance while the bumps and crevices and everything that are in there. Now the steel on this is 1075 high carbon steel. We do have a hickory handle with a wire wrap going around it, and we do have a leather sheath. And yes, like most Condor blades, it is made in El Salvador. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I'm a white boy and I can never pronounce anything. So, let's go on to some of those cut tests that we love to do here on the channel. Now, if you're curious why I'm going to do these three, and they're three really common ones, okay? Take a look right up here. I'm leaving you a card for why I choose to do those cut tests. Heavy-duty stock paper. I can remember, dummy, it's a neck knife. All right. See if I can get that curly cue. And that's what I get for looking away from the camera. So as I was trying to get a curly cue and the paper was tearing, we had a data dump. So let's just try this thing again. Okay, goes through there, no problem. Now let's try to get that curly cue. All right, it was starting to get it there, as you can see. And then, like, I don't know if it's just the paper's been sitting around too long, maybe got a little bit wet, I don't know, but get a little issue with it. So, if you're curious why I do that, anybody can just basically come along and go, sharp! Oh, wow, hey, that's pretty good, better than the other ones. But if you draw your blade across slow and keep that same edge angle nice and slow, it should, if you don't tear kind of do what that was doing right there at the beginning. Curl back into itself. That's going to show you there's really no chips pitting any micro abrasions. But as you can see right there, we've got heavy snowfall sitting on that blade. So yeah, it's going to have to be stropped. Oh God, here we go. 
Most of you know, lately on my channel, we have been having so much problem with Paracord. And I swear to God, I'm coming down to the last of that batch that's been in that tactical rope dispenser. I cannot wait till that thing is gone, and I will melt that little bastard down. But okay, pull test. Ugh, I had to turn it basically into a slice. <sighs> And no, I'm not going to switch to another brand because I bought this and I got to use it up. You know, waste not, want not. All right, slice test. And see, it goes right through that. No issue. It's that pole test on that cord. I know, I know. Y'all been waiting for him. Maybe I might even sell like 8x10s autographed by Mr. Ratchet Strap. He seems to be seriously like the best thing I've ever done on my channel. He gets the most comments and he's the most popular. A Ratchet Strap. All right, but still. Here we go. Yeah, right through clean, no real issue. All right. You see that cleaned up basically everything and like we usually do. Looking for any weird chips, anything on the blade. I really don't see anything. Okay. So I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this on 5-12-21. And it's currently 5-20-21 as I'm filming this video. I took a look on Amazon Condor and Blade HQ. And Condor's website is Condor, what is it, uh, CondorTK.com. All right, for those of you who didn't know, on Blade HQ, it's sold out as a 512, and it's going to run you $59.98. On Condor, it's $69.98, and on Amazon, it's $52.99, and it is Prime eligible. It's been reviewed once on Blade HQ for a 3 out of 5. On Condor, it got 9 thumbs up. Seriously, that's how they have their rating system. And it's been reviewed 128 times on Amazon for a 4.6 4 out of 5 star rating. All right, now we're at the fun part of this video. You guys know I love this more than anything else. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you think she's a noise or an F bomb? A noise or an F bomb? For the overall recreation stuff, I like it. The way it looks, I like it. Am I going to carry it every single day? Probably not, but I have enjoyed my time carrying her around. Like I said, it's just it's got a good three-finger fit. I feel like I have a great purchase, and I don't feel like my hands are constantly slipping forward. A huge part due to that wire wrapping. It just seems to like grab whenever I've done anything. But okay. Now, for you first-time viewers of my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know I do things a little bit differently here on this channel, but that's part of the fun. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, I'd like to know what I can do to earn your subscription. Why don't you leave me a comment right down below, and let's try to be constructive on it, okay? I've seen some really rude ones recently, and I'm just going to remove those, to be honest with you, because I think you're rude to try to be rude. But that's besides the point. You never know how your comment can affect the history of this channel. Now, after you guys have done all that fun stuff, I know I'm asking a lot, but it's all free. In a moment or two, take a look right down here. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. See, I'm making it really easy for you, and it's free. Okay? After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please, if you so choose, destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? That's a great question. Because that will let YouTube notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Condor Otzi. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are being safe. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in our next video.